Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer and today I'm going to do an overview of my bullet journal from 2018. Here is my calendar page and so here you can see this is my library tracker and you can see I read a library book every month. I'm color coded so like February, March, April, May, July, June, August, September, October, November, and December. I did every month except for January when I was really suffering from morning sickness so I didn't really go to the library in January. And I got some pretty good books from the library. Here are my 2018 TBR list and you can see I did not finish even close <laughs> but I did get to read 28 of them. I decided not to read five of them and then there are still 30 to read and I think I put those on my 2019 TBR list which I am hoping to read all of this year so we'll see if I can get to them. Here are my series on this page and here are the ones that I actually managed to finish this year so I finished reading The Princess Academy which I had already read the first one of and so I read the last two. The Alcatraz series which I had read the first book and a half of and I finished reading the last five and I think book six will come out soon so then I can actually finish it. The Lunar Chronicles which I started and finished this year. Legion which I had read the first two of and this is by Brandon Sanderson and I the last book came out so I was able to finish that. And then I started and finished reading the unofficial trilogy of Little Women. And I started the Hagenheim series, the Ranger's Apprentice the Early Years series, Scythe, book scavenger series and partials to all the boys I've loved before and Father Brown and those were the series the new series that I started this year. Over here were was a list of authors that I wanted to get to to reread and I was able to reread another book by Patrick Ness, Gail Carson Levine, Susan Evans McLeod, Agatha Christie, E.L. Conisberg, and Wendelin Van Drainen. And I actually really enjoyed all of them. So they lived up to their previous books for me. Here is a list of classics that I want to read just, just any time and I was able to read 16 classics last year so I was very happy with that number and I really enjoyed most of those as well. I've discovered that I really enjoy listening to audiobooks. I don't know if any of you are the same but that is a really good way for me to get through classics. Over here was just a list of books I wanted to reread and these are some of the ones that I was able to get to. Now the, this is my quotes page and it kind of went, I had three pages for it. In my 2019 bullet journal I only have two pages for it but really enjoyed filling this in and I think it kind of looks cool so. And it's color coded so the quotes are in the color of the month that I read that book in. So like I read Still Alice in October and that's a quote from Still Alice. Here are my favorite books of 2018 and I still need to do a, a video uh, showing my favorite books that I read last year and I won't do all 36, I'll choose my absolute favorites. This was a bookshelf of books that I wanted to buy to add to my collection and I was able to buy some of them. And then these were other books that I, that I bought besides these ones. Um, mostly they were like thrift finds or books that I actually wanted to read like Skyward and so yeah and they're color coded also in the month that I bought them. And then this was my book log and my book log I didn't leave enough pages so then I had to do it on the back there and then I also went into my TBR there and there and so and then this was my stats page so I can easily see how many pages I read each month. You can see August was the best. You can easily see how many female versus male authors. I read a lot more five star reads than I did any other and I didn't read any one star reads because I probably DNF'd them. You can see I DNF'd 17 books in 2018 which means I started actually, like actually started reading them and got I think at least 20% of the way in. And then here are, here's kind of my spread for uh, genres and so I felt like I did a pretty good job of reading a wide variety of genres. I kept track of how many, I actually switched these, so this is how many books I bought. I bought 18 book, 
118 books and I donated 14 books and I, re I re reread uh, probably 20 books and then 120 of them were new reads for me and then this was my just visual account of my reading goal and this is where they came from library owned ebook or audiobook and then I was able to do this was for the TBR readathon and I really enjoyed that so I was able to finish all of those in May and June this was the booktubeathon and I was able to finish all of those in the first week of August and then this was the fairy telethon TBR uh, or my the fairy telethon and I was able to read all of those in August but I didn't do them all in the week of the fairy telethon but I was still really happy I was able to get to all of them except for the sea witch by Sarah Henning and I didn't read that one because I didn't want to actually buy it because we were kind of tight on funds with having been uh, just had Riley so and then this is kind of where I kept track of stuff for booktube and I kind of did comments there I don't read them uh, just ideas for commenting and stuff and then this is how many videos I wanted to get a hundred videos posted and I only got what 79 I think so I fell short of my goal there and then here you can see for checking for the newbie tag or s subscribing I did okay sometimes but for the most part I didn't really do it and then commenting on videos every day yellow green meant I so green means that I did it really well yellow means I did it okay or was trying and red means I didn't even try so you can see the middle of the month I did the best in January and December I didn't do anything because January was I was morning I had morning sickness and December I it was just a crazy month with three kids and Christmas and everything and then here you can see how many videos I uploaded so again I did best in the middle of the month and then near the end of the month I kind of had a harder time doing videos because of Riley being in our room and just being busy and then you can see here here's I kept track of how many books I read and this is how many nonfiction books I read and I read at least one nonfiction book every month except for December I accidentally didn't read a nonfiction book in December and then here's my fictional books and then this was just like notes that I took from different books and stuff I did want to show this page so this is how many this is how many books I had on my Kindle on my Kindle before book at the beginning of the year I had 52 unread books on my Kindle and I thought that was kind of ridiculous and so I wrote them all down and I ended up DNFing a lot of them just deciding that I did not want to actually read them and deleting them off of my Kindle because I was like I'm never going to read this why do I have this on here makes it harder to find the books I want to read and then I was able to read 28 of those of the 52 books and have no books on my Kindle from last January that I haven't read yet and so I was really happy with that I, the same thing happened with hard copies of just books that I actually owned the hard copy of I only owned six because we had just moved into our house and before we moved I tried to read or get rid of all of the books that I owned and I was able to do that with all of them except for the Count of Monte Cristo but then I did get some money to buy books and I bought a few books from Christmas and my birthday and so that's what those books are then by the end of the year because of just buying new buying and acquiring new books I owned 24 ebooks on my Kindle that I haven't read and I own 17 hard copies that I haven't read until I spend my Christmas and birthday money on new books <laughs> I also just wanted to show this I started doing this and then decided not to but I, I think it was a good idea I was just taking notes on the books that I read each month in the color that they were and I really liked how that turned out I just kind of stopped in I didn't start until May and then I didn't I stopped in August because probably because of Riley and then it kind of turned into a place for me to take notes during writing group so yeah that's my bullet journal from 2018 I'm gonna retire it and I have this vision now in my head of all of my bullet journals in 20 years of 20 of them all lined up in a row and so I really love doing bullet journals I would love to see or hear about yours from 2018 let me know in the comments below thanks for watching my video and I will see you in the next one